So under control. Well, I started my professional experience in a, in a big pharma lab in London. But what I really wanted to do is medical devices, and more specifically, surgical robotics. Well, I guess I'm an engineer. I then met Patrick Henry, a business developer, and together we decided to start up Endo Control. Why the name Endo Control? Well, Endo for endoscopy, and Control because we're trying to make surgery as precise as possible with our surgical robotic system. We're in 2006, and that's when it all started. As of today, our robotic systems are in routine clinical use in the United States, Europe, but also Middle East and Southeast Asia. Our products were developed to adapt to any kind of anatomy. Large hands, small hands, women, men. From the beginning, our mission can summarize to a single sentence. Facilitate, as much as possible, the surgical task to the benefits of patients. And that's a great challenge. It's difficult to change people's habits. You must step back, but I'm confident. Surgery aims to be less invasive and less aggressive for a better patient recovery and less pain. Smaller and smaller incision, more and more precision. That's what we have in mind when we develop our product. We work very closely with surgeons. We listen to the needs and to their constraints, and they have a lot. Our first product was Viki EP, a robotic endoscope holder system for laparoscopic surgery. It provides direct control of the camera positioning, but also improves significantly the quality of endoscopic image. Why? Rock steady and fully controlled display. No more tremoring, so less eye fatigue. Less contact between the endoscope and the tissues. And the user can save key position. Vicky has required many years of research and development with my team and academic partners. Light, small footprint, fast learning curve, easy to set up and easy to use, Vicky is a new generation robotic assistant. With a multilingual voice control and wireless microphone, the surgeon speaks directly to the system in his native language. Vicky adapts to the surgeon and not the other way around. When gynecologists discovered the Vicky EP system, they immediately asked us to adapt it to uterine manipulation. We've thus developed Vicky UP, the first robotic uterine manipulator holder for gynecologic surgery. Vicky UP improves significantly tissue exposition. Optimal antiversion and retroversion of the uterus and lateral positioning. And consistent uterine traction to keep critical anatomical structures away for improved safety and accurate dissection. Here again, the user can save key position for an optimal and effective uterine manipulation. In parallel to the Vicky lines, and after six years of research and development in collaboration with Professor Brice Gaillet, the world pioneer and expert in laparoscopic surgery, we've developed a novel instrument, Jamie. 
Let's say it. Jamie is the first robotic 5mm laparoscopic instrument. With its distal flexion and unlimited rotation of the tip, Jamie makes possible access to any anatomical structure in the abdomen. It provides the freedom of movement that was lost when switching to laparoscopy without increasing the size of the incision. Fast learning curve, easy to use, fully reusable. Jamie is pushing boundaries of the minimally invasive surgeries. I must say, we wanted to make possible what was not, and I think we made a good job. I have a philosophy. I believe that obstacles are not meant to stop us, but rather to be overcome. They are an opportunity to push our own boundaries. Vicky, Jamie, a product range set to grow.